Are we centered? Yep. We're good? Okay. <laughs> we're like, we are, are we on? I think we're on. We're on. Hi, everybody. We are so on. We are so on from snowy Calgary. Oh, my word. First day of spring. Isn't that? That's Ty actually typical for Calgary. So typical. Yeah. Get out your big boots. I think the last day of winter. No, last day of winter. Well, two days ago, anyways, it was plus 17 here in Calgary. And today we're at what? Minus, minus seven. I just about got shorts out. I almost got my Birkenstocks out Monday, Tuesday. Ugh. I know, I should have. Anyways. Usually I'm the one that causes the snow by doing that, though. You put your snowbrush away or something silly. Something silly. So. Anyways. Something. Wash so, my car. It's going to rain. It is gnarly here in the city today. Um, and due to that, we will be closing early today at 4 o'clock. So that yes. has been posted on our social media, but we wanted to remind you. 4 p.m. today. So you can come shopping in store if you want to brave the nastiness that's outside. Or, of course, you can shop online uh, for all the things plus our dynamic duo demo deal and what are we talking about this week it's spell binders 25 percent off so you can find all those deals in person and of course on the online store today and tomorrow yeah and spell binders they do everything my gosh you know i was gonna say where this started was we were just gonna do yeah how did this start yeah really right so you, can, you go down a rabbit hole with spellbinders big time. I pretty much did. That's pretty yeah. much happened. So we, I, we were wandering around the store coming up with dynamic duo demo ideas. And Glenn said, how about the foam? Mm. Spellbinders foam. Do you want to grab me some packages? Huh? And I'm like, ooh, well, heck yeah, because it could use some love. Yep. Um, I think people would love to see it. Um, I'd Hi, everybody. love to hear our reviews on it. love to hear what we've got to say. So I thought, great. But then it's, is that enough? So we went around and next thing I know, it turned into the spellbinders thing. Boom. Boom thing. Boom. And boy, did I get surprised. Because even though I work here, I know. Oh. So there's glittery. Boom. This is the spellbinders foam. We love this stuff. Yeah. yeah. Glenn wants to know it's nice and sunny where she is. Well. <laughs> yeah, we know. Mexico. Good for you, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm happy for you. I hope no, you're loving awesome. it. Please relax. No. Enjoy that. Yeah, no, no FOMO here. No jealousy here. Right? Not, 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 not. not. Super yeah, jelly. Not much. Anyways, hope you're loving it. I'm hoping you're getting in some crafting down there too. Yeah. <laughs> so I sat down and I started playing with spellbinders to try to come up with uh, samples for this. And I have to admit, I realized very quickly how many things Spellbinders is into. Mm -hmm. They've got cover plates. They've got stitching. They've got, um, I mean, they're the dye company, right? They're yes. the original OG. OG of dyes. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, generally when they come out with anything in their stacking dye sets, I grab it. Like this one is the circle postage. And the rectangle postage. And there's is rectangle my and square. I, I just need I just grab them immediately. Yeah. I know that their quality is amazing. I know I'll be very happy and just the layering that you can do with their stacked dies. I'm always yeah. all in on those. All in on those. Um Yeah, I used some of that similar stuff today too. For yeah. stuff. And of course the wax seal system. Yeah. Those um are wax seal stampers. Those are on 25% off. Got beautiful colors of beads, tons of stuff over there. So, you know, yeah, I love the wax go. seal. There we go. I said I did grab. I knew I was grabbing. So there you go. Some anytime I see anything like this, I just consider these staples. Yes. For the craft supply. Yes. Okay. And then they go into like like you say wax seals, the wax seal stuff, bling. Okay. String. Right. And then if you're one of those people, which those people. I am not, and I love you that do. But these forming flowers, the and flower then they've people. got yeah, and then they've got the flower forming tool that oh my gosh! But anyway, just to, I'm just gonna show you. And that's flower form, form forming forming forming. Yeah. So all those little tiny bits, those yeah. layers, that's from the dyes and some skill, and some skill. Yeah, definite patience. skill. Patience. I think for me, yes. it's the patience. I don't patience necessarily thing. like. I, I have wanted... to really like this friend if I'm spending the time doing this. You're telling me this is. Yeah. I my God, I love you. Yeah, you'll know it just when you open that, right? Right. And you, you never throw, never throw a homemade card away. But you then, never throw something like that but away. But then they even have like this one's called sealed bouquet. Still flowers, going a little bit more simple. You don't mm -hmm. have to form these ones. Nope. So. 
gorgeous flowers. Gorgeous on their own. Yeah. A little more minimalistic, which is a lot more my style. I would agree. Yep. Um, yeah, so... I think Julia made this. Look at this wax seal. This is with a better press and a combination of the wax seals. And she that. did that? Yeah. Wow. And you made this one. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Love, love, love. So your wax seals, again, aren't just for your envelopes. Not just for envelopes Put anymore. Put them on your cards. Okay. What else All you right. got? Yeah, so what we're saying is go to the online store for the demo deal, um, spell binders, all, all course, the things are in there. There's the cutie guys. Oh my goodness. These sold out the first time they came in. These glasses, you can add glasses to the dudes. But I think this would work with the other dudes from other companies as well. Oh, heck yes. All the dudes. It's adorbs. Totally. Hmm? Yeah. But I can't yeah. believe what I actually got looking, what they're into. Like, I, thought, I think the spell binders is Cute dyes, ones. but then now I'm realizing stamps, hot plates, bed, bread, 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 press, glimmer foil. Yeah, they're into it all. All the things. Which yeah. is pretty freaking yeah. awesome. You did that card? No, goodness. I pulled these off the oh, okay. from the section. Julia yeah. made this. Yeah. Oh, more. There's then more the, and then the men and me. These fresh picked yeah. ones. Yeah, These those are, ones are great because they make up a beautiful card front in themselves, right? Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I find what I would say with spell binders is you can go as simple or as intricate as you want. It's yes. kind of in your, like, you can use a couple stacking dies and make an amazing, amazing something out of it. Um, or you can get into all the flower forming, like forming. Like I was even going to show, I have this cut and ready to go. I'm not going to stitch it. I'm just going to use it as a cover and I think it's going to look great. So have you stitched it yet? I have not stitched it yet. Yeah. I plan to, but time, time, time. Ooh. And then I bought this one. I just haven't used it yet. What? I know. I love, I love, I love edges. this. Edges are great. They are a great addition um, to your card fronts too, right? You just get a nice beveled edge on mm -hmm. bottom side, something. Anyways. Yeah. So I sat down on what date was that that I texted you? Was that not yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. So Monday. And I said, I think I did a bunch of stuff for Dynamic Duo. And I just threw it all in this craft stack. Because these are also on 25% off. Which are amazing. Like yes. if you do any online classes, you can sort out um sort out your stuff in there but i was like immediately grabbing this because i had pre-cut all these things from my spellbinders stuff and then pre-emboss embossing folders I haven't even mentioned the embossing folders yet and i just started to play i just started to put things die cut and play i haven't even put anything together so that's what i'm going to do today for our dynamic duo is I'm going to actually use some of this stuff. Wow, Nancy. But there's my foam. I made I made this um, full wax seals. I wanted to see what it would look like with the foam. So I played with that. And then I, cut, of course, you know, we started talking about this as a foam thing. So I cut a bunch of the flowers. Mm. So I'll put some stuff together. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer, just give you a nice compliment. You look nice and bright and cheerful. And Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I agree. You need that. Take up a cost of painting. Yes. La, la, la. <laughs> Do you want me to tip the foam down or you want to keep? Oh, yeah. Don't forget other embellishments too from Spellbinders, which are also on the Dynamic Duo demo deal. You know, I wouldn't this mind talking about popular. this for a split second though. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the difference between this one. I'll, I can, it's right there in the corner. I can ban it while you spray. No, I want the other one. Oh. Who knows? Oh, well. so this one and a normal spray bottle. So there's the one from Ranger Spray, okay? What'll happen is you'll pump this and it'll keep going with the mist, okay? This is great for misting projects, but you gotta be aware that if you pump it three or four times, it's gonna keep going. So that's why we joke about the splash zone in front of us. Because we, we have, have sprayed customers before doing yeah. A, a, yeah. a demo. <laughs> yeah. But and they're the... up front watching us and it's like, whoa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just water. Sorry. But it, but the mist is amazing. Amazing for just a nice even coverage on your paper. Whereas if you're using a normal, I call it normal, but a, the other spray bottles, the one with Ranger is developed so that if you spray it fast, it's supposed to mist more, yeah. and then if you go slow, it gets all drippy. Yeah. So it's so people little, ask me, what do I like? I have them both. Yeah. Different. But that was a little more uncontrollable. Whereas this, you this know one exactly is one hundred percent. You know what you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. But I have had people like because they're not expecting it to keep 
um, going after they, it's like, oops. Carolyn's been using this for ironing. Oh, and I was going to say, this came from the quilting. I really, oh, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Cause they, the quilters would want to, yeah. You have to have those precise seams in quilting. So they love this for quilting and ironing. So, and then I have one in my room in my bedroom for hair. Excellent. So, I mean, they're, they have multi-purpose. So if you don't end up loving it for your craft rooms, there are other reasons to get one. I gave up ironing for crafting. So did I. I don't iron. I have better things to do with my time. Ironing sucks. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's true. Yeah. i got to get shopping. Yes, you do, Glenda. Okay. All right. Let's turn the camera down turn and the camera get down. to some demoing and playing. Um, well, I, what are you going to talk about? Um, kind of random things. You just... Okay. You... Go for it, and I might just throw stuff in as we go. Sure. I'm going to start off by creating myself a couple of card bases to get going. So what I've done is I've grabbed our Prism Studio. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, hang on. i got to get this. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to walk away now. I just almost put my coffee on when I thought the phone was coming at me. <laughs> it's all good. We survived, everybody. We're good. Thanks for sticking around. We have 35 what's people with iron? us right now. What's yeah, an what's iron? an iron? Exactly. Oh, I do not yeah. love ironing. I'm pretty sure I could sell mine and nobody would miss it. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I would just disappear and they'd be like, what was that? What was that stupid yeah, thing? I, I'd, I'd rather clean and craft than do that. Um, but good on you, Carolyn. Baking? Right Anyways, there. that mister is only like eight seventy five. So what, regardless of what you're using it for, yeah, buy it. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just thought I'd quickly create up. So I've got all this great stuff that I've created um, ahead of time. So I just thought I'd show again um, just quickly how I can make a couple quick, easy card bases. Um, so I've grabbed our Prism Studio. A lot of people ask us, what cardstock do you use for your card bases? I don't use anything less than 80 pounds. This is an 80 pound. I'd actually even prefer to grab the 100 pound that we have in the yeah. hammer mill. Yeah. So for a standard card, all I do is I put it in lengthwise and then I'm just going to, I'm using this brand new tool from We Are Memory Keepers. So we're just totally getting all the things in here today. And if you're a big card maker like I am, I would suggest when you're in the store next time, buy a ream of the 100 pound. And just make right. up a bunch. It's of just so handy yeah. to have. It's such a great price. So I highly recommend that. If I'm running low, I just buy another ream. Then I you know betcha. I just have, I have it all it. the time. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. So I'm going to, it's a, we know that eight and a half by 11 is uh, the size of the standard cardstock. So I just need to cut this along the 11 inch side at five and a half. So I'm just cutting it in half. And I'm using this, um, I particularly chose this tool. It's the We Are Memory Keepers The Works because it also has the scoring capability right all built in. As soon as I get this blade back on, we're laughing. Hi everybody, thanks again for joining in. Hello, if you are catching us on the replay. Uh, Julia has been busy at work uploading all our previous Dynamic Duo uh, videos to YouTube as well. So you can go back. Don't cut yourself. Well, you can go back and find them in the library there too. I did know how. Oh, here. There we go. It's actually not as hard as I made that look. I'm but when you're on camera, it's a whole Every thing. time. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to cut that in half. So I've got, now I've got two, actually a bunch of color bases. So what I'm going to do now so this is this is how this tool works this i'm going to pop the, the works that over and then this becomes the edge for the scoring oh, and right no. here in this tool is this the blade. so all i need to do is load this baby in and score it at four and a quarter which is half of eight and a half and then i just boop done and sadly i had a heavy hand yeah, I was going to say it sounded pretty heavy. It was, yeah. yeah. Look, I accidentally heavy handed that. That's you okay. That was, a, that was a Nancy. Fronts. I have two card fronts. Yeah. That was just a Nancy thing. I'm so this sure. is an A2 size card. Lots of people ask me, yeah. what's A2? A2 is kind of standard in the crafting industry. Yeah. Um, so it's four and a quarter by, by five, five and a half. half. So size, yeah. the bottom line is for mailing, as long as I don't put a ton of embellishments on it, this would be a normal size, normal postage. Absolutely. The minute I start loading it up, I may end up spending a little bit more or you know going what? bigger. I, I build my cards, build them up on here a lot with wax seals, with all kinds of things, and I've never been over. 
So I will really pay two sides is good. Well, I'm not adding like metal embellishments or whatever, but yeah, yeah. I'll build up tons of stuff in layers. Yeah, I still have no good. problem. A yeah. two is a great. It's my go-to size for sure. Good. Well, and it's there's no waste. It's always half of an eight and a half by eleven, right? That's what I love about the A2. this way. And I can make a bunch way. of these yeah. card bases. Yep. And just have them on hand. And if I know that I'm an A2 maker. Um, then, yes, yeah, so I do 100-pound um, weight I have on hand all the time. Yeah. The black and the craft. I always have a stack of those ready to go. Okay. Anyways, hi, everybody. Thank you. So then the next thing that I would look at if I'm doing some cards is I actually grabbed their embossing folder. Now, somebody's going to ask me where I got this, and I'm pretty sure... I am actually got this embossing folder with my platinum. So I don't think that we can necessarily order this one. But I just threw a bunch of things through um, just to emboss. So I figured that would be cool. And then we could just layer on. Layer, layer, layer. It's all about layers. I'm just going to show two of my favorite embossing folders from Spellbinders that are also on the deal. Um, this is Man Mandala Blooms. And beautiful butterflies. So some of my samples today are using these, but I, these have been very popular. We have reordered these a few times. And I have to say, as soon as I got home and was playing, I was saying, dang, I wish I bought that one. Yeah, I love, love, yeah. love, love this one. Yeah. So I could start there. I've also got um, a background. <laughs> I think I mentioned it already. Where I used this. This is this. Okay. But look at how pretty it is, even without the stitching. Yep. It just can be a beaut like the cover plate scenario is perfect. I love it. It's simplistic, Very too, but it simple. gives you some a little texture, little to texture, right? some, you know, a little bit of eye candy to it. Right. And a really simple technique. I do a lot of white on white like this because then my elements really pop on them as well. Super. So then I could even just start adding some of these, these foam pieces that I've, already cut and you don't need a ton i think it could a couple little ones just like that and then like that would be almost done like you it doesn't even add a pretty ton. wax seal in the middle of there you know what i was thinking of wax seal full wax seal What's... the the uh, spellbinders foam two die cuts beautifully and i just want to show so that how easy. gorgeous oh, that. that is so pretty they just they were precision cut only thing I would say, there's one small back story on this that I think is worthwhile mentioning. If your plates are dirty with gilding flakes, it will pick it up. Secondly, if your plates have oh. any gouges, it will pick it up. This is impossible. So if you actually look at some of these sealed flower, this is called sealed bouquet die so you can see that it's embossed the leaf vein in there right so if you have any gouges in this your is hard to tell but this i embossed with the butterfly blooms oh it's nice it's just subtle no oh, you can't hardly tell on camera no but yeah you can emboss it too yeah but if you see like if you happen to have a lot of gouges in your plates it will pick that up too so i would get clean. fresh clean plates out for this but yeah, <laughs> so I can. Do, 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 do. I don't know. But it does make die cut so nice. It's like, amazing. Just, like, like this just came. Like these. These are detailed, detailed dies. Yeah. yeah. And they just. Bam! They're fun and they add dimension without weight. Right. I mean, apparently that one hit the floor and got dirty, but mm -hmm. well, you know, knowing me, I'm just there, hidden. And then we could do a wax seal or a piece of washi. Well, you know what else you could add around there? What, what, what? Oh! Um, spellbinder's thread. You yes. You can just wrap it around. Yes. That would be gorgeous, too. Yes. So don't forget the spellbinder's thread, too. That's an option. That's on sale. Okay. You could even jazz it up with some spellbinder's bling on there, too. Yeah. And just all the little things that bring the stuff together, right? Right. Okay. I'll work on finishing this card so I can show it off. You talk about oh, music. Oh, okay. Though. Okay, so what did I do? Some Well, some of my favorite things. 
Uh, we talked about their layering dies, spell binders. I love, love, love their layering dies. Yeah. Um, probably my most used is the postage edge rectangles. Any of the postage edge ones. We have circles, squares, ovals, rectangles, a must in your crafty yeah, library. Yeah, it was funny because at first I tried to just stick with one and ended up with all oh, three. Yeah, with all of them. All four? I think they make four of them. Oh, rectangles. Oh, oval. Yeah. I love this one too. This is the Hexy Gems. I believe this one's in stock too. But any of the shaped stacking ones. Oh, I was. You know, I think you have this in your pile, the actual package of it. This is the Make a Wish Arch Label one. I love this. I did use this uh, a couple of weeks ago when we made the Honeybee cards. Love it. Turned it into like a card on its own. Cut a mat using it too. Some Spellbinders uh, string on there. But this is a really fun one too. I use this one quite a bit. Um, I use that one. Oh, I love, love this card, how it came together. <laughs> so when I talk about um, how easy it die cuts, those words are quite fine, um, scripty ones. This is from the new Simon Hurley um, die handwritten sentiments. So it has the, the sentiment and the shadow, which I love. That's a must. So this one, um, get that one. Love it. There's another one, too, we have. I think it's the Essential Sentiments. It's a great one with a shadow. But I took the foam and die cut it there and die cut the shadow in, like, the white glitter foam. And you can nice. see, like, there's a bit of dimension in there, but there's no weight to it. That's and if I was going to mail it, foam. it squishes, but then it comes back to shape. Nice. And I just like the colors are beautiful. <sighs> Yeah, I think nice, you can see nice, that okay. Nice, nice, nice. So anyways, there's that die again. Yeah, so there's gl glitter foam in there. And I did try, um, I had attached some of the die cut and bond to the back to see if it would die cut and kind of hold its shape did easier. It? Um, it was really, I, I don't recommend. No die cut and bond? No, I just recommend your liquid glue to adhere it all together. Okay. But it adheres so nicely with glue. That's awesome. Lots of times what you're showing isn't totally in the screen. Okay, thanks, Susan. Yeah, I gotta hold it there a little bit differently. There. Yeah. I love the I love the foam. Just love it. So yes. Anyways, layering dies, definitely a must for sure. And of course I talked about how I love the embossing folders. So these are two of my favorite from Spellbinders. And on this card here, this is the Mandala Blooms. I just ink blended the front of my card in three distress oxide colors. That's stunning. Yeah. Right. And then, um, actually I used a little bit of the, what's that powder called? We have kind of like the mica powder. I'll have to find the name of it. And just went over while the ink was still a little bit wet, wrapped some string around it, added a bit was of it spell a dinkle? binders. Was it an infusion? No. Or was it a I have to find the name? I can't think of it. Okay. Added a bit of gems to it. And then die cut the foam again for my sentiment. Nice. I know. That um, embossing folder is just so pretty. Nice. Yeah. Those and I love that color blend. So if anybody's paying attention, that's a great color blend that's for an spring. Amazing blend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just a couple samples. Also, ooh, no, I'll show this one first. Also using that embossing folder, I had ink blended, or no, I just pulled down my inter one of my interference ink um, pads onto a card panel, let it dry, and then ran that through the embossing folder. So how cool is that? I think you can see that. Bit of shimmer and shine in there. So I'm going to die cut a sentiment using the foam. Probably wrap it with some string and then that card is done. This one I used, I had um, an ink blended background just sitting in my stash because I am known to do that. Just make a bunch of backgrounds and then they're ready to roll. I die cut it using, um, of course, the postage edge dies. Popped up the middle portion. Well, I embossed it. Ooh, I, yeah, I ran it through the embossing folder. Die cut a sentiment, of course, with the foam. Wrap some string, ar string around it. Beautiful. Yeah, so I thought that was really great with just actually um, using the embossing folder on the center portion of that card. Awesome. So again, just really trying to show, really trying to show off the foam, actually. But I'm a sucker for sentiments. I buy all the sentiments all the time because they just add so much to a fun background. Yes. Yes. And then I pulled this out. I just wanted to show you. Um, 
So I am new to the Glimmer Foil. I have the system. I have not had a ton of time to play with it lately, but it's on my to-do list, of course, because, you know, I'm not ironing. I should be crafting. Great. So this is a Good better press it. plate with a better press machine. However, you know you can foil your better press plates. So foil. Now, speaking of which, if you have your Glimmer machine sitting and gathering dust, we do have a great class coming from Laureen. Yes, yes. She's our Glimmer queen. Is there any spots open in that? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Again, Glimmer foiled my better it's press Thursday, plates. April 11th, if you're curious. And the better press plates are also on sale. Anyways, just making some card backgrounds. Stealing Heather's supply. Oh, oh. I don't know. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Okay, so don't forget, yeah, better press plates. You can foil. You cannot do it the other way around, though. You cannot better press your foil plates. So just know those differences. Yeah. So yeah, Spellbinders does definitely all the things. But definitely get yourself um, layering dies. That's a must. Yep. Some glitter foam and foam. But I'm going to die cut some here too while Nancy's kind of playing. Then you can see how easy it comes through. Yeah. One thing I wanted to show what I did was I had glitter foam, but I wasn't like I had it comes in white and black. So I actually took some distress oxides. I was actually going to ask you where that color came that from. That was so my you distress. Inked it. I inked it. Oh, brilliant. So yeah. So, and then the other thing about the glitter is one side isn't glittery. So if you're in a pinch, you can use the you other can side. Use the other side if you don't want it to be glittery. But yeah. So smart. Sometimes. So let's. Just, I'm going to just die cut some of this so you can um, see how that works. Let's make a sentiment for the front of this card. Awesome. Do we have any questions about anything spellbinders? Or is everybody so busy online shopping right now? Well, yeah. Should be. Get on it, guys. I like to use one of the Totally Tiffany. This is the 8.5 by 11 uh, paper tape, I believe, to store my phone. And the colors are just so yummy. But I think I'm going to use some white and black glitter foam to go on this. I thought that would look really nice and striking. Nancy's putting together her card. Yeah. I know the Spellbinder sale has been really popular today. Really thankful for that. What's everybody else doing on this um, gross day here in YYC? Snow day. Did you steal my scissors? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Goodness me. Sorry. I think I lost my scissors the other day taking a class here. That sounds about right. Yeah. It's okay. I know where to get some more. It's not like I don't have 12 pairs 12 in my pairs? stash. Right? Yeah. Cuts easy. Remember, you Super can easy. Um, emboss it with your folders, die cut it. What sentiment should we use on here? Anybody have a suggestion for me? Hello. Hugs. I make a lot of hello cards because it's easier to turn into a thinking Anything. of you. Yeah. Get well soon. Hello, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hello, thank you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Ooh, hello. Okay. So it is, this is a really fine, fine sentiment, but we're going to use this. So I think I'll do, I think I'll die cut the word hello. Of the black and then the shadow out of the white okay so yep. i just trim it with my scissors okay can you give, Easy a, give me the scissors <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because they're hers okay and then whatever machine you're using just check your sandwich but um it feels thick, but it's... It actually goes through pretty much like paper, I thought. I obviously didn't even make a thick enough sandwich on that one. Really? That's surprising. Um, so, while you're cutting, I'll just show... I'm going to... I use these faux wax seals. So it comes in this set, so you can stamp... And then cut, or in this case, I just chose to cut the foam, and I can even add 
a little stamped something something. So I'll do that. So yeah, I just like to adhere this with glue. Like I said, I did try to put some of the adhesive, uh, double-sided adhesive on the back, but it was a little finicky to work with because it wanted to stick to everything. So Yay. I think if it was a thicker font or something bigger, it'd be no problem. Okay. I'm going to wing it which is scary, but I'm still going to do it. We also have like the flower shaping toolkit too. That's We do. Yeah. Want me to grab one? I think I'll have to show up in the... Okay. Woo! Ha ha! So there, so now I've got the foam and it stamps on really nice. That looks cool. I love that full wax seal. Yeah, so if you're not, and if you think, here's the thing. Some of us, like me, are should not have open flame in our craft room. <laughs> yeah. So maybe you're not into the doing the wax seals, but this would be super cute. Give you the look. Oh, that is so cute. That did come together really nice. And I love that pierced um, kind of stitching panel, but you didn't have to stitch it. I did not have to stitch to it at all. Not even slightly. So yeah, Make so sure that's... you hold it up in there. That's a cute stamp set. Don't want to... There we go. Yeah, so just a couple, couple awesome dies. And I've got a card front. This is still my favorite. I think I just love that color. I think that's stunning. Oh, that's the shiny black cardstock too from Spellbinders. I'm not sure if we've got it in stock right now, but anyways. Oh. I think it's just that glitter green, hey, that just makes that pop. Right. A nice spring birthday card. Get my glue here. And I'm just going to pop this together. Does everybody out there use embossing folders? I've been using embossing folders forever. You know, to me, they were, they kind of fell into the undervalued part of my craft. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, wait a minute, I got to use those. And now I love them again. And they're inexpensive. And I just, they have so many, there's so many ways to use them. I mean, just follow Jennifer McGuire and you'll. Oh, right. Right. Guru. Crafty guru. 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 How do you say that? Oh my gosh. Okay. What are you going to do on this lovely? What I wanted to show with this. Okay, so this is not part of the deal, but there's a reason. It's in last chance. So it's a better deal. So it's a better deal. This particular die is actually 40% off right now. Yeah. So it is. I'm trying to find it. Just a second. And because the glue stays wet for a minute too, you can manipulate your foam, right? To get it exactly where you want it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I left it at home. And Heather should probably wear her reading glasses to do the finicky stuff. I do, I do. Okay, but what I got thinking of, okay, so how this die, I wish I could find it. I apparently, oh, I buried it under my stacker. That's what I did. So this is the die. So it's got this whole background thing. But if you look at it, it's also got like little pieces for layering over for the hummingbird body. So it's lots and lots of dies in there. So I did, I cut it out and I thought to myself, it would be really fun. Thanks Heather. It would be really fun at like with the paper shaping flowers and, and any of these sort of spellbinders building dies. You know, you can cut out, and as they have here in the sample, all those colors. But I have to admit, I'm a bit of a lazy crafter. Are you? Ha yeah, yeah, can be. Yeah, so to get out a green and then a purple and another and then start cutting them, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, it's a ouch. lot of steps to it, right? Ouch, right? So what I did... A, you have a shortcut tip for us? I, I think I do. Awesome. Or maybe it's just of how I like to work. But what I did was I cut that die out multiple times so that I have the pieces in white. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to use one of the little blending brushes. These are the waffle flower um, 
Spellbinders also carries them. They are just out of stock right now. Yeah. So what I can do is instead of... Oh, Georgia, you got to get out your dice. Oh, they're just so... Yeah. They're so versatile, for sure. Let's pick up a little bit. Oh, of Jennifer ink. uses her embossing colors all the time. Just yes. Blend down. So I'm just using the Catherine Pooler ink. So now all I gotta do is find where this fits. It would be right, I don't know. Oh, trouble. I don't know. Anyway, point is I'll play puzzle time. Playing with the puzzles. And just piece this back. I think I'm just going to do a little ink blending too, Nancy, while you yeah, do that. Yeah, you do that, because I'm going to use my embossing folder. Not like this is... I won't say this is... Okay, I wouldn't say this is easier, but what I liked about it is it's just like it got so I could customize the colors. It's a great way when you have a multi-multi-piece die set, for right. sure. And I thought, I don't really want to choose my colors right now, but I wouldn't mind having those die dies cut ahead and ready to go. So now I can just come back and start piecing in the parts that I want color for. And there's tiny, tiny pieces. Like, look, this is his, uh, the hummingbird beak. Like, that's teeny, teeny tiny. tiny, right? So then you'd have to tape it to a piece of color card stock. Right? Yeah. But now I just have it and I can take, let's say, I'll just use s'mores. That's my bad. I brought the wrong color for this. So do you want? No, it's all good. Okay. I can just hold it down. If I have trouble holding this, I would just get one of those pokey tools that have the... just to hold it. But then I'm just going to go ahead and add color. Yeah, Debbie, this die set is a lot of work. But like Nancy's doing here, if you cut all the pieces in white, then you can just customize it with some ink. You could even lay the pieces out in your splat box or something and spray, spray them, let it dry, them. and then assemble. Yeah. So there's definitely lots of shortcuts to die sets like this. Yeah. So what I might do is actually grab the die, cut a bunch, and put the pieces in my craft stack. Oh, yeah. And then sit, like, in front of the TV. And assemble. Or, yeah. Later. Throw on some Netflix and just assemble. You betcha. But things like this, yeah, they're tedious. There's a lot of pieces. But the end result, you know, it's so worth it. Right. Okay. The other thing I wanted to show is this seems like... That seems like an awkward size for a card. Because it is very big. Right? What is that finished size? Is that That's bigger than a 5x7? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me get a number. I'll tell you. So that would definitely take extra postage. Well, this one would take extra postage, yeah. So we're looking at about eight by five and a half. But it's a you know beautiful card if you're gonna hand deliver it too to somebody, right? Right, right. So you've got two pieces with this die. So what I might even do, so I know that if I sit here and continue to piece this together, we'll be here for another year. So I might not necessarily finish this card on camera today. Um, and I think you get the idea where I'm going. But then what I would do is I would take, so it has this separate piece and then this could go over top. So these cut, these do cut separate. And if you remember our adhesives, I would either do a precision tip glue or sticky specs would be oh, another great sticky one. Sticky specs would be a great one yeah. for this too. To pick up. Anyway, I'm just going to put this over top. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to start. Huh. I, I inked that. I glued that too soon. I do that all the time. I'll glue something and then I'll be like, no, no, wait, I want to do something. And then the glue has I to have sit. another idea. Yeah. When the glue gets to sit, but that's okay. So this one I just ink blended really quickly. I'm just going to put it in my butterfly embossing folder. I haven't even opened this one. Oopsies. Okay, so I could leave it white on white, 
But I can also do a cool blend on this background, right? So I'll just come off. And yes, Catherine Poolers, they will blend. This is so juicy though. Look at the streaking I got going on. So generally you might want to practice off another piece of paper. Um, I'm just going to keep going because I, I don't mind. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But it, I can see where somebody's going to be like, well, what about that? Well, these inks are super juicy. So what I might do is just kind of dab off and then come over and then it'll be way better. So like when you're doing like the pros with the makeup, they, they always seem to tap their brush. Oh, but yeah, tap some of it off. Yeah, so you're going to want to do that, especially when your craft and cooler ink is brand new. Yes, it's very... It's uh, very juicy, juicy. Yes. But I'm not too worried. This is just a... In the back. I mean, this is never going to be a focal point, so I'm not concerned about it. But then I'll just take this. Hopefully some of this is still tacky. It will be. It will be. And I'll just put this over top. Now, I actually think, personally, that's pretty enough, right? Yeah, that'd be a cool background, too. Right, but then they ha the die has all these other pieces that I can start adding in. So, like, I've already... I could put this one on there. And then it's got his... The eye colors is separate again. So, as I can go as far as I want to on the piecing in. Yep. Yeah, right? leave some of it just white. Right. But then you're like, you still haven't made a card yet, Nancy. Yeah, you're right, I haven't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of square card that's just a smidge smaller than this card front. What do you want, the trimmer? Yeah. What size do you want? I don't know. What size did we say this was? Let me remeasure. I want it to be four and three quarters by seven no by six four and three quarters by six i can do that all right voila awesome. your wish is my command nancy you're awesome so then i'm going to go ahead and find where did i put that works tool did I put it completely away? No. How did we lose it? How can we lose that down? Tool that size. I don't know. Well, it's probably me, because I'm good at that. Because I use some of that to really find it. Okay, so I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. And I'm just going to run a score line along the top. So I'm just going to use... This is me... This is how I do it. I'm in my room. I can't find my tool, so I come up with another way. So I just used my ruler and I measured about a half inch lower and I'm just creating a score. Yeah, I don't know if I've done something with it already. <laughs> it sounds familiar. All right, so basically I'm creating this little... Now, if I was doing this off camera, I would not use a messy piece of cardstock. But for you guys, and hot. the fact that I know that I can cover that up. Hot mess express. Hot mess express. Some days. Some days. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this panel on the back. Now this is a card. Right? So if you see what I did there, I just created a square. Oh, that's a good idea. That's just a little bit smaller. In fact, actually, I would tweak this. After having done it, I might even take this down even a little bit more. Um, so, you know, I like, that's the other thing. Sometimes it's easy just to do three or four cards at a time because you learn from the first one. Mm -hmm. But then I just took a score line and just created this flap hinge sort of scenario, glued the top part of the hinge. Now I've got this area here that I can write my sentiment and, or stamp a stencil or stamp a stencil. You can stencil a stamp too. Yeah, we can do all the things. Right? And Clever then ideas. Yes. Right? So now I've got this gorgeous card that will actually stand on somebody's mantle, which they better keep if I put all this work into it. Rhonda, yes we can ship the glaze and glue. Right? Might want to, might want to wait maybe a couple days though. Huh. Yeah, as I'm looking at the window going, oh yeah, right. It's gross outside. It is gross outside. 
We would never ship it if we thought that, that um, it would be that it would freeze. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, definitely not. So. so even if you were to order it and we didn't think it was safe, we would let you know. Yeah, for oh, sure. We would let you know. Look at all the fun bits of foam there you have cut to make some pretty spring cards. I know. I know. And then what I just loved was cards. just like going back to this, I I just I just decided to color that white foam with some whatever. With so the ink. I yeah. love that idea. I don't I hadn't even thought of that. So yeah, so I've got this wax seal. It's just it was so easy. Like just And you could highlight the other colors of foam too. Well you like can those, like look at this. Ones. I've got this here. What if I just took just up the center? Just a little bit, not the whole oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Brilliant, I tell you. Brilliant. Clever ideas. You're so clever. I am clever. So again, this one, like I said, we just do just the bottom and then work up and let it fade out. Use a little one. So now I, yeah. I'm in love with the glitter foam. The glitter foam is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this teal color. It's just so pretty. I love that one. Yeah. And they're layerable. You're right, Charlene. Their Spellbinders dies are brilliant. Yeah, they're the... And Charlene loves making the flowers. Oh my goodness, oh. her work is gorgeous. Yes. Patience of a saint. Gotta get some of that to rub off on us. Right? Yeah. I was too busy trying to plow through the project. Yes, yeah, sometimes, right? Stop and actually adhere a paper piece? What? Anyways, I need my glasses on for that. Yeah, all the things. I might have to do a little shopping. Yeah, there's no question on today. Make sure there's advantage. nothing I'm missing out on. Yep. Haven't met a flower I don't like. Oh, Charlene, you're so funny. Yep. She can handle those. She even teach people how to layer those. That is patience. Patience, patience, patience. Yeah. This one just, yeah. It's not cooperating with me on camera because I'm on camera, but there we go. I've got some layering and some inking on the foam so then I could add that to even just a little sprig oh look at that I need you need to throw some more glitter foam in behind good Nancy needs your patience hat though because that is one the other thing I noticed is this patient does, pants on camera is patient pants is hard yeah, yeah um a little static clingy you can run into with this so just be aware and yeah, maybe have a exactly. balance sheet for your hands keep or, your hands clean because it will, will pick up the colors too yeah. for sure yeah, but yeah, well, I think fun. I think that's we covered a bunch. Well, you know, it was Share such that. a wide thing. I yeah. think we could go forever. Yeah, I think we're just sharing our love for spellbinders, right? So, which is why we chose it because it's easy to work with, right? Because we do, we we love it. Yeah, you betcha for sure. So thanks so much for joining us today. Don't forget the Dynamic Duo demo deal today and tomorrow. Twenty five percent off all spellbinders does not include the machines. Um, but there is so much selection on there for sure. Oh, yeah. And we'll be back in two weeks. I think we have determined that we are working with Sizzix and Sprays. Yahoo! Yeah, so watch for that in two weeks. And then, of course, next Monday, because we alternate, Julia's going to be on Monday Night Live. So awesome. Yeah, be safe, everybody. Stay warm. Next few days here in YYC are going to be gnarly. So Practice snow days. Yes, have some fun snow days. Thanks for being here. Bye for now. Bye.